So, hello everyone. There we are. Hello everyone, this is Blair Mystic Fox. I'm coming to you live again with another episode of Information is a Cult. In this episode, we will be talking about totems and power animals, based on the experiences that I have had. Now, if I haven't said this before, I'm not really good at teaching people things. That's why when I have students, I have four. Um, I usually just have them research stuff on the internet and buy books that I have read via Barnes & Noble, and then once they've read everything I've read, I encourage them to buy their own books. But anyway, let's get into it. Um, so, to people who are unsure of power animals and or totems, um, power animals and totems both kind of um, reflect the animals that you're obsessed with, uh, the ones that you are most involved with throughout your life, and they also kind of... Um, how do I put this? You take on the traits of certain animals. Um, so, for me, my power animal is the fox. I've always been obsessed with the fox as both a mammal and a land animal. And beyond that, I, um, I love foxes. I don't know, I've always had a connection to them. And I've always had their traits, um, as a human being, having the traits of a fox or canine. So, um, fox is my power animal. The most, um, primary and dominating spiritual aspect of it. And, um, totem-wise, I have the phoenix and the dragonfly. Um, I wasn't per exactly obsessed with the phoenix per se throughout my life. However, the phoenix has showed itself through me and around me and to me various times, multiple times, every time. So, I'm also, uh, I have the dragonfly, which represents wisdom. And it also represents, I think, transformation and new beginnings. I've always been obsessed with dragonflies. They're one of my key totems as far as how my, my mind works and how I explore things and take on things. Um, I, like I've said in other videos, I've worked with dragon totem before, um, but I am not dragon. You know, dragons are very aggressive and very blunt, and I'm not aggressive unless I have to be. So, that's another thing. So, um... We'll talk into how you identify a totem is really by uh, evaluating yourself. Willow, get over here! Sorry, that was my dog. Um, so, yeah, we um, you figure out uh, what your totem is based on the animals that you find yourself most involved in. Uh, shamanism and their beliefs, uh, as far as omens are concerned, many animals have very various different messages. And you can find these messages either in a book on shamanism or on Google. Uh, just by typing in the shamanic meaning of, and then whatever it is. So, um, that was just, uh, this has just been a video on totems. I'm sorry, I'm not all here right now. I'm having a wonderful day. But, um, I'm going to continue to make more videos soon. Um, I really, I'm not really writing my material down. I'm just explaining things as they come to mind. So, if there's anything that I could be doing a lot better, because I'm very new to this and doing this professionally, leave comments and tell me what I could do to do better, because it's, it's not just my experiences, it's not just my words. I have researched, I have books, um, I have the knowledge, I just, I, I lack the uh, proper ability to express it the way that everybody wishes me to. So, if there is anything that I could do better, let me know, and I will do that. Um, I think I'm going to take the, the next video into possibly either Divinity or Chakras, but we'll see. Um, anyway, like I said, um, for more information on totems, you can Google or you can buy books. Um, so, this is Blair Mystic Fox signing out.